Thomas. Sure is good to see you. You too, compadre. This is Hanny. Calder. Welcome to Mexico, Miss Calder. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I looked at Hanny Calder. And this 1971 movie was directed by Burt Kennedy and stars Raquel Welsh, Ernest Borgnine, and Christopher Lee, among others, of course. The story of this movie is about Hanny, who has this encounter with this gang who kill her husband and then rape her and then leave her for dead as they set fire to her house. She survives and she's like, Ugh, vengeance is mine! And then decides to go get vengeance. Along the way, she also has to learn the way of the gun. What will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. Alright, so what works with this movie? Well, I gotta say, this is a great story of revenge. You're really rooting for Hanny the whole time. And the villains are just like so detestable and so disgusting that uh, I would say you love to hate them, but that's not true. They're so bad that you just hate them, full out hate them. So you're really kind of rooting for Hanny to really go get them. I also said she has to learn the way of the gun and that whole kind of side plot is really good. She has to, you know, find a gun that's right for her as well as find this like cool teacher as well to, to help her really master the way of the gun. And so all of it really does combine to have this very compelling story that you really do get into. In addition, this movie does star Raquel Welsh. And so she's a very popular person, especially in the 70s. And she just dominates the screen with her costume. It's just this like poncho and pants. And she just wears it like so elegantly. It's just the poncho. You, you can hardly believe it. But she absolutely dominates the screen with this poncho. She wears it so well. Again. Again. Um, I was actually into the video game Red Dead Redemption 2. And I tried to model my character after her, just with, with a poncho and some pants. And it was so cool to see this, this poncho being made such... I would even say it's like an iconic poncho, I would say. She just dominates the screen with her costume. It is amazing. Oh, and the settings. I couldn't get any pictures of it, but there's this whole big segment that takes place on the beaches of Mexico, and it's just so beautiful there. It really has this very tranquil and calming effect on the audience. And so that was definitely a very wise, you know, location to shoot at. I would also say all the acting is good. I think, you know, Raquel definitely has a standout performance, but everyone's doing a good job. And, you know, it's always fun to see Christopher Lee in, in really anything. So definitely a good acting job across the board on this one. And that brings me to what I think didn't work with this movie. Well, I would say the tone of this movie is all over the place. You know, there's these beautiful beaches that really calm the audience and, and make you feel very tranquil. And then there's this rape at the beginning. And so, you know, like halfway through, I had to think like, did I get tricked into forgetting about what happened at the beginning? Because it's just so calm and so relaxing to, to watch some segments. And so definitely, tonally, it's all over the place. In addition, I think there's a lot of story pieces that really don't make sense to me. Like they're just kind of thrown in there just to, I guess, fill time, but also, you know, to have some set pieces like this gang of marauders just show up and you have a gunfight, of course, because that's what you do in a Western. Um, you also spend a lot of time with the bad guys, these, you know, disgusting <laughs> villains. Uh, and you really do spend too much time, like, watching them. Like, like I said, you just hate them by the end. They're, they kind of remind me of, like, the Three Stooges, if the Three Stooges had absolutely no morals at all. And so you spend too much time with them as well. So there's definitely some very bizarre kind of story parts. What else? I think uh, with Hanny, I think her character probably should have just gone for vengeance. Instead, she kind of has this 
thing where she wants everyone to have like a real duel, like a, a gun duel with her. And so she actually gives like the villains guns and I would have not have been that kind. Strap it on. Can I put my pants on? And so that just seemed like an odd character flaw uh, within the character, but it does add, you know, suspense and tension. It's just not what I would have done. Oh, and lastly, I thought the sound was unbalanced. I thought the music was way too high and the talking was way too low. So I always had to, you know, flip the volume up and down throughout the whole movie. So yeah, that's a thing. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, if you're into westerns and haven't seen this one, then definitely check it out. If you're looking for kind of a more brutal western, then you can check this out as well. If you're looking for, I guess, a, like a femme fatale movie, this is also a very acceptable option. As for a rating, I'm going to give it the OK score of 4. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.